Ta lè di fòtò bò E yi ni baba Jò jò baba E yi ni baba Jò jò baba lò se E yi ni baba Da su yi ya Da su yi ya Da su yi ya Now begin to bless the name of the Lord. The Lord strong and mighty. Worship Him. There is none to compare to Him. Arana man and go mele kashata. Somebody open your mouth and bless Him. I tell the Father, thank you. You are bigger than what we call you. You are bigger than the doctors we caught. You are bigger than the disappointment. You are greater than what is happening. Thank you for who you are. Mighty one in battle. Lift out of my head. Bless him and say thank you. Tell him thank you. Arana mana kubelete. Bless him, bless him. Arana mana kubelete. Bless him, oh, bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Don't be silent. Don't be silent about it. You are come to receive. Thank you for that miracle. Thank you for that miracle. Thank you. Thank you for that miracle. Worship him. Arana mana mo shelebede. Ikabala kumbelete, bless God, bless God. Ayara la do shayara. Thank Him, thank Him. There is nothing He can sort. Ah, thank Him, thank Him. Rana na shalaba da shata. Thank You, thank You. Oh, 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 oh. Father, we thank You because You have heard us. Be Thou exalted in Jesus' name. We pray and ask that Lord we live the same way. Lord, we will live the same way. Perfect all that concerns us. And let your will be established on it. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Church, praise God. Let the living shout hallelujah. At, let's have our seat. I welcome you once again. Good morning, sons. Good morning, ma. Good morning, friends. Okay. It's a privilege to stand in front of you. I thank God for what God will be doing in our midst. I just have a few minutes. We could be doing more worship and prayer. That's two things I know. I, I know how to do best. Praise God. <laughs> God will help us in Jesus' name. But let's look into the Bible to see what God has for us this day. Let's turn into the book of Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12. We'll be reading through from verse 1 to verse 11. The key verse there will be verse 5. But let's start from verse 1. From there we'll run through. And what will be the topic? Victory through prayer. Victory through prayer. I've heard people give testimony of how they wait on the Lord and God rescued them. And God delivered them. And God brought that deliverance and God broke that breakthrough. Now what, what to look into the Bible to look, look into what the more mysteries into prayer. Praise God. Acts chapter 12, 1 to 11. Something happened there. Something happened in Acts chapter 12. Media, you can help us with the verses. I'll also be reading here. But while we have our Bible, let's also read together. He said, Now about the herald, the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. That was the mission of the king. To just bring calamity to the church. To bring pain to the people of God. Sometimes when I see some children of God going through some challenges, I'm like, Ah, oh God, this is not how it's supposed to be. And it's the truth. But when we are ready to stand, when we are ready to stay in our victory and proclaim what God has for us, it will be a reality. So this man decided to kill James. We know the story. He killed James. And his next target was what? Peter. His next target was what? Peter. Verse 3 says, And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. But I so much love what the church did in verse 5. Somebody say, what did the church do? 
what did the church do? Now the church is talking about is also talking about us. He said, Peter therefore was kept in the prison, but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. Prayer was made endlessly. And what happened? Because prayer was made, victory came. Victory came to an extent that the angel came to deliver Peter. He never knew it was even the angel of God. He was like, ah, until when he has walked a distance away from the prison, he now, he now came to his sense that it was an angel that brought him out. And they've targeted to kill this guy. Heard him up with um, four quadrums of soldiers, I, I, I think mean, 16 numbers of soldiers. They just held him down in the prison. But thank God for victory. But that victory was ascertained through what? Prayer. Through prayer. And one thing I've noticed in, among um, some Christian lives is that they are like, ah, prayer is for those men of God now. We don't, uh, praise God. It's crucial. It's crucial. In the place of prayer, we take dominion. In the place of prayer, what? We take dominion. The children of Israel, the, 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 the children were of the disciples of Jesus were inside the church. They kept making prayer season without season. And they see their victory come their way. Thank God for the Holy Spirit in Romans 8, verse 36. He said, We know not what to pray, but He is, he is the one that actually helps us. So even if oh you are spending 15 minutes or 10 minutes or your prayer life is struggling, just ask him, Holy Spirit, help me. He has a way to carry you through. Praise God. So, what are we trying to say? There is more we are we, we, we tend to achieve in the place of prayer. First Corinthians 4 15. First Corinthians 4 15. There is trying to tell us to pray with understanding. 4 Corinthians 4 15. It's trying to tell us that what? Pray with understanding and also pray in your spirit. He said, For though you have first Corinthians 4 15. Okay, okay. Okay, that's not the place. But there's a place in that Corinthians that said, I will pray in my spirit and I will pray in my understanding. Because there are things that we tend to make happen, come into a reality when we would travel more. There is power and consistency. James 5 says to say, The fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Live after truth. Live a, live a life that glorifies God. Because one thing about prayer is that if your ways are not pure, forget it. God will not hear you. The only prayer a sinner can pray that God will hear is God. Father, have mercy. Praise God. So what are we trying to clarify here is that more attempts to happen in the place of prayer. We saw how it happened in, the, in Acts chapter 12, verse 5. Let's continue. So what we actually call prayer, we all know all this. So we are just let me just read a few of what I, I wrote down here. Prayer, I said, is an authorization system of communication of fellowship with God is an authorization system. Even Christ himself, he also waited on the Lord. Luke 6, 12. That place said, he prayed all through the night. If the Christ we are following prayed all through the night, how about us? We enjoy our bed from every day, from 6, from 12 to 6 a.m. Praise God. Bible says, when man sleepeth, the devil came. Praise God. So what am I clarifying here? Prayer is a way of communion. It's a way of fellowshipping with God. It's a way of making establish what of what establishment of what God has said concerning your life. Mm. You see, Bible is really full of promises, prophecies, and principle. And one crucial thing about principle is that the Bible says that His word will stand forever. If He has put it as a principle of receiving, you ask. You ask, you receive. Then you, will be, you should be ready. Ready enough to what? Ask in the place of prayer. Bible will say, Hit that toe, have you not asked? Ask that your joy may be full. Don't just overwhelm yourself with that challenge. Don't just overwhelm yourself with the way things are going. But what? Tarry. Wait on him. And he's going to speak. He's going to bring victory to you. He's going to bring victory to you. I had a story of a, 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 a married woman. She, she entered into a home. And forget it. The, the, the family of the man, they began to trouble this woman like mad. They troubled her, troubled her. Ah! Immediately, the woman had to go sit up in the place of prayer. She prayed till the, till the witches in her husband's home died off. The last one had to come to her and start repenting and say, please forgive me. 
Are you getting now? What am I trying to clarify here? Bible will tell us in Luke 8:1 that what men ought to pray and not to faint. Matthew 21, 13, he said, My house shall be called the house of prayer. No matter the beautiful skills you've got and understanding you've got, there is more for you what to understand who God has tagged you to be. Pray and fast. You want to see victory? Good. Don't fight it yourself. Don't fight with the husband, don't fight with the wife. Take him to God in prayer and see what God, see what God is in for sorting out. Don't forget, we are talking about victory through prayer. And what is this victory? Our faith. First John 5, 4. First John chapter 4. First John chapter 5, verse 4. First John chapter 5, verse 4. Victory. That means we are overcomer. We are winning. We are winning. We are winning. I said victory is a is an overcoming or winning in a competition or struggles over opponent or difficult problem. Yes. But Paul was saying to Ephesians, he said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He said, what for you and I? For spiritual powers in higher places. But thank God for the victory that we have in Christ. He said, for whosoever is born of God, overcome the word. Ah, media help us now. Whosoever is born of God, overcome the word. And this is the victory that we have that overcometh the word, even our faith. In the place of prayer, be ready to attach your faith towards it. Praise God. So, let me now go into the key point of what we want to discuss. Why you are to pray? Why should you pray? What is the purpose of prayer? Why, why is it that it's so crucial that Bible took his time telling us to pray? Praise God. Now, let's start with the first story. Matthew 25, Matthew 22, 25. Matthew 22, 25. This was a, something that happened in a particular home. In a particular home. Matthew 22, 25. Now there was with us, there was with us seven brethren. And the first, when he married a wife, deceased, having no issue, left the wife unto her brother. Let's continue. 26. Likewise, the second and the third unto the seventh. And last of the woman died. And last of all the woman died also. This is talking a story about a lineage. The first guy got married to the lady. Well, in olden days, they tend to practice that. that in, you get married to a lady and they, they lost the lady. Let's, let's talk about that individual. And they lost the, the other ones take over the lady. Like that, like that. Praise God. Just to bring offspring for that family. But something happened in that and pass it that I'm not happy about. If the first one got married to the lady and he died, second one got married, and the pattern was going on like that, till the seventh one, till all the home were wiped away. That means they were not spiritually a lot enough to decode what's the danger of the devil around. That is why you must pray. That is why you must pray. Prayer will make you to be spiritually sensitive, to understand things. I know of a woman, she told me something. That, that, that sometimes she stays in her house and when she just have a flash of something that wants to happen to the husband or to the children immediately she begins to pray and that's how God will divert that accident or anything because she is spiritual enough to understand, to decode what the plans of the devils are so in the place of prayer is a way to align your spiritual antenna to hear God more, decode what is happening to decode what is happening because the devil has come to steal to kill, but thank God for the victory of God in Christ so you must pray, say to your neighbor, you must pray. But Bible has called his church the house of prayer. He has called us the house of prayer. Praise God. Even in Matthew 26, Matthew 26, 36 to 41. Even in the Lord's prayer, the Lord asks us to pray so that we don't fall into temptation. So that we don't fall what? Into what? Temptation. The world could be full of troubles. The world would be full of troubles. But in the place of prayer, we make things happen. Praise God. Why you must pray consistently. One, for spiritual sensitivity. Two, so you won't fall into temptation. And the third one, which is even the major one. Let me read you what I wrote here. He said, prayer creates a legal platform for God. One, it creates a legal platform for God. Angels and the spirit went to, to intervene into a particular situation. You know what happened in the book of Acts chapter 12? The, the, the disciples were consistently praying. 
And what happened? The intervention of his angels came, rescued Peter. That means in the place of prayer, we are what? Legalizing the will of God. In the place of prayer is the way we get assistance of God. Really, man will fail you. But there is always a sure worker, which is God. He's always there to support you. Praise God. Let's read Psalm 11, Psalm 115, verse 16. Psalm 115, verse 16. Psalm 115, verse 16. He said, The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, are the Lord's. But the earth has He given to the children of men. He has given you to the earth to have dominion, to rule, to design it the way it's expected to be. The earth has He given to the sons of men to make things happen. The earth has He given you to what? Make things happen. Praise God. Ezekiel 22, verse 30. God may want to express himself, but he looks for a man. The Bible says he sought for a man who is eager to express his victory on this earth. Ezekiel 22, verse 30. Ezekiel 22, verse 30. Yeah, Ezekiel 22, verse 30 says, Ezekiel 22, 30 says, I sought for a man among them. That is God speaking. He sought for someone that can sit up in the place of prayer, interceding for his home, that this may what come true. Even you that is saved, do you know somebody has been praying for you before he came into existence? If not, the devil has, is at the verge of stealing people away. Someone prayed for you that you became born again. So why would you yourself submit yourself to his will and make things happen the right way in your home? And in your family, the Bible said, in sought for a man. He sought for a man. Is we in Psalm, Psalm 6, verse 10. Psalm 6, verse 10. There in heaven, his will is also already established. But it's here that we on the earth. We must make his will stand. Matthew, Matthew 6, verse 10. The Bible was, Jesus was teaching him the Lord's prayer. He said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. His will needs to be established on earth. That is why you must be ready to stay in his will. And if, if you are ready to stay in his will and tarry in that place, you will make things happen. He said, two will become one. But why would there be division in a home? Because you have not sit up in the place of prayer. So many challenges will go through which are not expected. So many. But in the place of prayer, we make things happen. It's just like, it's, 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 this teaching is just like a church. Praise God. It's also a teaching for me. I'm also learning this morning. Praise God. But I'm also telling you that that there is more if you are ready what, to give room to what God has called you to be. We have to make his will established on the earth through the place of what? Prayer. Why must you pray? Bible says in the book of Jude chapter 20 building up your holy faith praying and the Holy Ghost. There's a place you come in with the Holy Ghost and it builds that confidence in you and build that faith in you. And what? He built the faith in you. Praise God. Give room to prayer. Give room to prayer is a word for someone here. Enough of that complaint, of that grumbling. Just go to your knee and say, God, I don't like this, so sort it out. He said, Hither though have you no axe. Hither though what? Have you no axe? He said, Ask that your joy may be full. We are still going to pray, like I said. We we'll worship and we we'll pray. We we'll worship and we we'll pray. God will help us in Jesus' name. God will help us in Jesus' name. There are many things we tend to, that tend to happen in the place of prayer. God's will comes into existence. God's will is established. We avert the danger of the devil through what? Through the place of prayer. And a prayer of faith and a prayer of righteous person availeth much. Availeth much. Availeth much. Let's rise to our feet. Let's rise to our feet. We are going to be praying. We are going to be praying. Like I said, this is just like a church. Bible says, my house 
shall be called the house of prayer. That is you. He's talking about you. He's talking about you and I. That we expected, expected to look up to him to wait on him. To look up to him to wait on him. Mm. Anybody that will choose not to pray, let me tell you the truth. The person is full of himself. And Bible resists the proud. The, 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 the life we live, we can't do anything by our own strength. It is God that helped us. It is God that helped us. So, when you see some challenges and you choose not to do the needful, guy, you are lazy. And you actually want the devil to rule your life if you are not careful. Let's sing the song. The first prayer I'll be taking from will be in the book of Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11, verse 2. It says, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon you. And the Spirit of wisdom, that is where I'm going to. And the Spirit of wisdom is the Spirit of prayer. It's the Spirit that will tell you, This is time to pray. This is time to travel, to make this happen. We are going to pray. Lord, let your spirit of wisdom rest upon me. That I may understand that by myself I cannot do anything but you. Open that mouth and pray. Lord, let your spirit of wisdom rest upon me. Your spirit of prayer. Let it rest. Somebody pray. Let your spirit of wisdom rest upon me. Lord, rest upon me your spirit of wisdom. Rest upon me the spirit of wisdom. Ah! Ebenezer. It looks as if I am whining you or what? I see some people opening their eyes staring at me. Beautiful. But the truth about it is that that thing you are looking for. You can't do it by yourself. Only him can help you. And how will you, how will you look up to him? The Bible said they looked up to him and they were not ashamed. They looked up to him and they were not ashamed. Hannah came to Shiloh. She stayed there and cried. Till her baby came true. Will you pray? Lord, rest upon me the spirit of wisdom. Baptize me with the spirit to travel. As I am travel, she bet. Arana kupe lecha yara ba ha. Eru na mana shata. Eta eta. Ika balata yaba. Spirit of wisdom. Rena ma shaba eta. Iko balata. We are complaining a lot. Arana mana mana shata. Eka balaga no shata. Rena mana no shala ba. Ika balato balata. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Rana mana mana shaba lada. Amen. Let's go back to that chapter 12. Don't worry. Already God is raising giants here. I know God is raising women that will seriously intercede for their husbands here. I'm already seeing it in the spirit. And you make this happen in your home. They said the woman built their house. Acts chapter 12 verse 1 I, I need you to add this holy anger in you to pray this prayer 
Acts chapter 12 verse 1. And about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to verse the church. Why was it be the church that the devil will stretch forth his hand to anoint? To bring calamity into home? Why must it be the church? We are going to pray that Father, any hand stretch to bring pain into my life, into my home. I pray such hand by the Holy Ghost fire, such hand that consumed, such hand that destroyed by Holy Ghost fire. That's why I so change. Stretch over my destiny. That's what my life has. So change. Stretch over my life. That's why I. That's why I. Any evil hand. Stretch. So, it's like we don't understand the prayer. There was a particular time in a year in hope of glory that people gave a testimony. The other, the lady had an accident in the leg. The other guy, accident in the leg. And the other one too, an accident. Do you think it's normal? Do you think it's normal? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. I want to end this whining and I want us to travel to pray. Tell God and ask, Lord, any evil hand that I'll be stretched forth to vex me, to bring pain into my destiny. They are destroyed by Holy Ghost fire. They are consumed by Holy Ghost fire. I confess my victory in the Lord. I cannot be tell, I cannot be troubled in second time. I can't be troubled in second time. The devil has done his worst. No peace again. Ah, ya kubelete. Runamana maashata. Ah, pray for yourself, Aya. Elana maashata. You kubelete. Evil has stretched to scatter my home, to scatter my children. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Echo belete. Anyone who has said that I will carry my children, catch fire. Make conversions. Make conversions. A close mouth, a close destiny. You close the mouth of a house because you want to have control. Don't let the problem close your mouth. If the problem close your mouth, you will have control over you. Ah! Echo belete. Room and now shatter. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Someone not this way to me. Someone not this way to me. Such evil hand stretch over my home, over my family. Cash fire. Cash fire. A good letter. Ramana Shata. You come a letter. You come a letter. Rumele. Pao Bele. You come a letter. Why we begin it, Lord? Raise that voice, raise that voice, raise that voice. Raise that voice, yo. That is your only principle. If you ask, you will receive. If you don't ask, just keep staring at me. If you ask, you receive. You ask, you receive. If you don't ask, you will get. It's the principle of God. And it will stand short. Sure. Evil hands stretch into my life. Cash fire. Ah! Evil hands stretch into my life. Cash fire. Why must it be the church? Why must it be the Christians? The devil is at all. He has failed though. Somebody. Are you praying to your maker? Or is he staring at me? Ah. In Jesus' name we pray. This song is for somebody. Calling upon your name. Hey, I'm not wasting time. Oh. Ah. Calling upon your name, 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 cal
know sometimes in the place of prayer there are some weakness that tend to drop off your life in the place of prayer they are they are they, they tend to be some weaknesses sometimes an individual weakness can be an enemy to his life an individual weakness the bible say as a man thinketh, so is he an individual weakness can be an enemy to him that thing that you may be happy about that Christ is not happy about that can be a, a way the devil come to trouble you those videos those things that you may be doing and the Holy Spirit is telling you stop this that can be an avenue that the devil may want to step in verse 2 in Jesus name we pray We'll be taking the second prayer. Same Acts chapter 2. Same Acts chapter 12. There's a place that said, and it pleased them. It pleased the Jews. That same Acts chapter 12. Let me read through everything. Now, about the time of Herod, the king stretched out his hand to bear certain Christian of the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews. It pleased the Jews. They were happy to see people going in pain. They were happy to see the Christian wailing in pain. We're going to pray. But I thank God for the victory in that place. God destroyed that soldier, those soldiers, 16 of them. And God made that king to be eaten by at once. Those are what God did. We are going to pray. That Father, whoever find joy to see me in pain, whoever find joy to see me in pain, let your destruction come upon them. Whoever finds joy to see me in pain, let destruction come. I'm not sure. We are not sure. You know, if, if that weakness can be your enemy. That weakness can be the enemy. So you are praying basically for your life. Whoever finds joy, see me in pain. Lord, destroy them. As you destroy the soldiers. The king Herod with that one blood destroyed them. Useless their agenda. Useless their agenda. Ranamana Shata. Ekubele Tombelete. Pray, pray, open that mouth and pray. You are not wasting time in the place of prayer. You are not wasting time in the place of prayer. Whoever finds joy to see the children of God in pain. Ranama Sharada Kumbelete. Ikapala Kumbelete. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing this one song before we take the prayer. I look to Yahweh. 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 Psalm 34 verse 5 Okay, Psalm 34 verse 5 But let's start from verse 4 The psalmist says I sought the Lord and he had me And he delivered me from all my fears I don't know what is your fears But you have to search the Lord For God to deliver you from that fears Verse 5, which is the one I love most. He said, they looked unto him and they were lighting and their face were not ashamed. Lord, I look up to you and will not be ashamed. That's the prayer. Do you understand it? Lord, I look up to you and will not be ashamed. Open that mouth and pray. Lord, I look up to you. I will not be put to shame. Ranama Shapalata. Open up my and pray, Lord, I look up to you. A man Lord, I will not be put to shame. I am not a man shanama. Ikapala kumbelete. Runama na ma shanama na. Lord, I look up to you and I will not be ashamed. A kumbelete is our season of beyond expectation. Is our season of beyond expectation. That is what the Jew declared. Oh 
my God, open your mouth and pray. Lord, I look up to you and I will not be put to shame. I look up to you and I will not be put to shame. No matter what the, well, no matter what the economy is reading, Lord, I will not be put to shame. Rana mana ma shata, eka bala kubelete. Runa ma shala bada shata. Eka bada shala bada shata. In Jesus' name we pray. Now this last one is um, I'll take a song before the prayer. But before that song, let me tell you one thing. I need you to set your mind towards a particular thing that you desire to get from God. If we have a Bible passage, just easy to pack it up. Are you getting that? You are designed for a new post, Abi. Bible says you be the head and not the toe. The tail. This is the Bible passage to pack it up. We are going to pray that prayer now after the song. She baba oh 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 ah baba oh rana ma shada bala kubelete ayana na baba baba oh baba 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 Have a Bible passage to, uh, to hold it up. Are you with? Are you with? Are you with? Have you gotten that prayer point? I want to hear you, church. Do you have that prayer in your mind now? Yes. Do you have a, pray, a Bible passage to back it up? Yes. Fine. So we are going to make confessions of what God has said. The Bible says, God is not man that he should lie. If he has said we should be fruitful, we will be fruitful. If we have said that one that we come to existence, it will be. So I need you now to tell him, Lord, this is your word. Come and prove yourself. Lord, this is your word. Prove yourself. Let your word gain expression. This word, let it gain expression. You have caught me head and not uh, lift me up. You said we are more than conqueror. Give me power to make wealth. Power to make wealth. Not give to me. Let your word gain expression. None shall be barren. Even not marry animal. Animal will not be barren. Lord, let your word gain expression. You became poor that I may be rich. You became poor that I may be rich. That I may be a blessing to my nation. Where is it gone? Let your word gain expression. Ah, yeah. The Kubeleta, Runa Mashabalata, Iruna Mashata, the Kuna Menashata, make that confession. Ah, yeah. By his strength, we are you. Why is he sitting that body? Rana Manashata, the Kubeleta, Irana Manashata, his spirit within me, his spirit within me. He took it by spirit, soul, and body. Aren't the Kulepe? Sharon Bayata, I refuse to force it. Ranamana Shabalata, Ekabalata, Radaba, Radaba, Selembe de Kubelata, Emanamana Shabalata, Rakata, Eku Ekubelata, Ranamana Shabalata. We will not lack. That is what he says. 
He will not know anything called lack. Rana ma shata. Ekumelete. Eruma na shata. Your one gain expression in my life, in my family. Your one gain expression. Your will is established. Your will is established. Rana ma shapalata. Ekumelete. Rana ma shata. I am coming back to give my testimony. I am coming back to give my testimony. Say your own oh. Rana mana ma shapalata. Ekubelete. Rana ma shapalata. Ikabala sete. Somebody pray. Rana ma shapalata. Kaba shapalata. We are going to thank you because he has heard your cry. We are going to thank you because he has heard your cry. A kepele kubele toli ana mashata. Rana masa yeda kumbele ta. Lord, I thank you, oh. Ayada dosa yana mashata. Lord, I thank you, oh. Rana masa. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayer. Lord, we thank you because you've heard us. Thank you for your mercy that endures us forever. Thank you for what you are in to do. Thank you for soldiers you are raising in each home. Thank you because you are awakening us afresh, afresh into what you have called us into. Lord, be, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. We pray and ask. That your word over our life will gain expression. Your word over our life will gain expression. Your word over our life will gain expression in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayer. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let the living shout. Hallelujah.